faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. It's time now for Quarantine with Kenny! Ah! I have no idea how that happened. Hello and welcome! Welcome back! It is the sound of Nashville. I am your host from coast to coast to coast to coast to coast. Mr. Kenny Foster. So very glad that you could be here and join us. It is Sunday. Normally, if we were normal, we would be having all sorts of bing. We would be having football. Um, we might be hanging out in a park somewhere. Uh, maybe you can still do that. I don't know. I do. But that's beside the point. I am here live from... Nashville, Tennessee. This is Kenny Foster here for Sound in Nashville, and we have got a show for you today. Quarantine with Kenny. We have got a special guest that I'm bringing out to you. We're going to talk a little bit about Music Cares and what's going on in the rest of the world, and you might hear a song or two. We're just adding a little something for you into the mix. So, hope you guys are excited. I know that I am, but like, without further ado, I want to get going with uh, with our uh, our special guest today. So, He's got 15 million streams across all of his platforms, which is amazing. He's been on Rolling Stone's Artists You Need to Know list, which is a pretty good list, if you ask me. Um, he, right now, he actually has a song that you need to know by Rolling Stone called Fat Kid. He wrote with Lori McKenna, and she's singing on it, and it's amazing. If you haven't checked it out yet, you need to. He's from Duval, Washington, ladies and gentlemen, which is a far cry from Nashville, Tennessee, but he's been here for six years, and he started a family all in that time. It's been a very busy six years for him, and I can't wait to introduce you to, if you don't already know him, and if you do know him, then you're going to love seeing Mr. Austin Jenks out there in the world. My friend. Austin. Where's Austin? He's going to come. Hey! What's up? How you doing, Kenny? I'm fantastic, man. How are things with you? Good. I just got my sunglasses on here. I saw your <laughs> intro, and I was like, I'm not cool enough for this video. Right now. i got to find some sunglasses. <laughs> no, man. you got to step it up. It's it's beautiful day in Nashville today, isn't it? It is. The sun's shining. Oh, man. What, 70, 75? Yeah, man. Are you going to get out in it today? Oh, yeah. We got out there yesterday a little bit and, like, play a little baseball and football. My daughter's three, so oh, she cannot get enough of going outside. That's awesome, man. So tell me a little bit about, like, what's been going on? Like, how have you been coping with this thing? How's the quarantine been for you and your family? Tell me about it. Man, I've been, I mean, really in this room almost the whole time, just working on songs. Um, that's pretty much been it, other than, like, getting groceries online. <laughs> and, uh, eating twice as much as normal. Uh, <laughs> How is that the way, man? How do we do that? I don't know. It's just one of those things, man. I, I did. Uh, I watched a little bit of Netflix yesterday. You know. Okay, what are you into break. right now? Uh, I got on that Ozark show. Okay. Um, which I watched the first two seasons, and they just released a new one, so I've been watching that. But <laughs> good, dude. Did you, did you watch the first season before now, or? Yeah. yeah. Dude. Um. So that's my, I mean, that's my hood. I don't know if you know this. I'm from the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I wasn't on the lake, like they're on the lake, but um, yeah. And I've got a buddy in Atlanta that was on that show as an extra. It was, uh, well, not as an extra. He was a featured part in a couple episodes. No I'll, I'll point him out to you. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll send you some info about that. That'd be awesome, man. Yeah, it's a cool oh, show. It, it keeps you entertained for sure. Cool, man. Do you guys have any rituals that you've planned? Because one thing that I've noticed, um, a lot of people have more time on their hands, and so they end up doing things like totally switching up their routine and developing one. Is there one that you have right now going on right now? Wake up about 9, 45, 10 o'clock. Uh, nice. You know, actually eat a good breakfast, take a shower, and good. then start making some music, man. That's great, man. So are you doing Skype writes or are you writing by yourself or what What do you normally do? What's your process look like? Yeah, I got that Zoom app and so yeah. I've just been using that a lot. I wrote with a guy the other day from Mississippi and then a lot of people here in town. Of course, um, man. So for the most part, that and like even just FaceTime, um, you know, if I don't have a right book, I've thought about it. It's a good way to get in the room with somebody that you couldn't usually just sure, that's fair. you got their number you never written with them before just be like hey man we're gonna write a song right now <laughs> <laughs> so, so jump on it because yeah. otherwise 
You're in trouble, brother. That's okay. So what would you say that you're looking forward to most? Like when this thing's over, whenever that is, um, like what are you looking forward to being able to do again? Well, the hard part about that, I'm a big foodie. I love food. And so yeah. there's been, you know, a handful of times. I know you can deliver through Uber Eats and stuff, but we try not to do that just because we're trying to, you know, save a little bit of money, eat the groceries sure. that we have at home and stuff. So sure. I think just being able to, like, at the drop of a hat, go get something, like, whatever I want, like, go get a steak or whatever, you sure. know. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm really looking forward to being able to just go do that. Did So have you been cooking? Has Do you do the cooking or does your wife do the cooking? I do. I do, actually. Okay, now. What's, um, what's your dish? What do you like doing? Uh, well... Right now, I'm still doing all like we got a bunch of top ramen, we got macaroni and cheese, we got <laughs> all this stuff that's real easy to make. Uh, Super. But we did burgers yesterday, and I, I hit up a buddy from back home that I've known forever for his like burger recipe, and they came okay. out really good. So, What's the secret ingredient then? Well, it was a little bit of that uh, cayenne pepper. Heck yeah, so, man. Yeah, so I, you know, I put all the other stuff, normal stuff, a little bit of garlic powder, but then that little bit of cayenne, man, it gives you the kick. That's the kick you need. I'm, I'm a Chipotle man myself. I like a little bit of smoke in there with yeah. my heat. But what can I say? What can I yeah. say? Chipotle. Well, dude, yeah. dude, um, I do love Chipotle. Not, not the brand. We're not, we're not doing a commercial for them right no, the now. We're talking, Chipotle. We're talking like the <laughs> taste of uh, smoked jalapenos. Well, man, um. We've got a couple things that we do here on this show, um, yeah. and, I, and I think it might be time for one of them. If you're with me, okay, down on your screen, that little happy faced man with the like pluses and minuses. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna pick it, and it's gonna bring up a lot of options for filters. Now, okay. we like to call this wheel of filter, and so people, if you are watching, hey, now I know, right? Sorry, so. I the gun. No. <laughs> so, guys, if you – we we had one we never really got around to, but if you have any suggestions down there in the comments, make sure and give us an idea of what we can have a conversation about because we are about to do a scene on a random filter that we end up poking up, all right? So here we're going to go. Um, we had one last week, I will say this, that we never really got around to with Lindsay. So yeah. – I think you and I are going to have a conversation about making jello. Okay, so making jello is the topic, and we are going to flip through the filters and just see what we land on. All right, dude? Well, unfortunately, I, I have technical difficulties here, man. I went to comment and say hello to somebody, and now I can't get the keyboard to go away. <laughs> does, does anybody know how to get the keyboard to go away? <laughs> Do you have a back button? Man... I've tried all the normal things. <laughs> you know what? You're going to be yourself, and I'm going to find something here. How about that? Is that okay, you go for it, dude. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we land on. Whoa. Yeah, I know. That's a little intense. It's kind of red lighty. I kind of feel like, hey, hey there, big boy. <laughs> all right, Austin, I got a question for you. How do you like your jello? <laughs> Uh, squishy. Squishy. That's good. Oh, squishy. Yeah, no, it's yeah. nice. What about uh, in a big baby pool? You like you like your Jello like that? As long as there's a slide into it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was thinking about I was thinking about wrestling in it for you if you wanted to see that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. I I'm I'm in, man. Jello wrestling in a kiddie pool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 we're good. So let, uh, let's, so one of the things that's going on right now, and you have a story about this, why don't you tell me what you know, our, our uh, charity that we are featuring today is Music Cares. Austin, you have a story about Music Cares? Do you want to tell us about that a little bit? Yeah, so not this past February, but the one before, 2019, uh, I got to go to LA and it was me and the company that I write for, we all had a table there at Music Cares, which is the day before Grammy. They do a Music Cares Awards and ceremony. Oh, there cool. honoring Dolly Parton. Um, and what's really crazy at that time, uh, Music Cares 
had not honored a country artist ever. It always been like Tom Petty, Bruce Springsteen. So they're honoring Dolly Parton, the first country artist. Oh. And uh, awesome. Everybody from Chris Stapleton to Willie Nelson, um, you know, they were all out there and played. Um, and one seat at that thing, I didn't pay for this, but I, you know, if I could have afforded, I would. One seat to go to this <laughs> thing was like 7500 bucks for one seat at one table. Um, I think I've got and, that in my couch here. Hold on just a second. <laughs> <laughs> but it's crazy, man. So all of that money goes to help you know, musicians in need when they need it. And there's like, no, you don't have to pay dues to be a part of it. Yep. You, can, you know, not know anything about the company for decades. And then somehow maybe you've come on some health issues or if you're in a hard financial time, like a lot of musicians are right now, yep. you can just call them up and say, this is what's going on in my life and I need help mm -hmm. and they will help you. Which is incredible. I mean, I have friends that have done it. Um, my wife and I have had medical bills that have been covered by Music Cares before, wow. um, and they've they've put out sixty million dollars over the course of their time, like to like fifty eight thousand different people. Like they're they're a really great organization. And so, if anybody who's watching at home wants to get involved, wants to do some donation, they can go to Grammy dot com slash Music Cares slash donations. Or if you're someone that's in need right now that is watching this, um, you can go to Grammy dot com slash Music Cares. They actually have a COVID nineteen grant uh, subsection so they have money set aside just for that portion which i think is pretty awesome yeah. so dude, um cool i love that now austin i know what the people are really here for so let's give it to them um do, <laughs> do you want to play do you want to play some music do you want to yeah, play, man, play a song yeah dude let's get it let's hear it all right what have you got for us today what are you thinking uh i got a song that i wrote that's on my record yes <laughs> And I wrote it with uh, my buddy Jaron Johnson and Jonathan Singleton, and it's called We Made It. And that oh, day man. when I went in there, man, we just like, I was like, I want to write an adult love song, you know, a uh, song, yeah. love song to my wife. And so this is kind of our story about how we came to Nashville. Oh, man. Dude. And you love me and I loved you. Couple colds and a couple tunes. I can still hear your daddy saying, Dreams don't pay the light bill. 2,000 miles we prayed all the way. Jesus on the dash, last dollar on the gauge. A little more than 87 octane spinning them wheels. It was you and me against the world, a stupid boy and a pretty girl. Hey, hey baby, hey, we made it. Dirt roads, we paved them, bad storms, we braved them. My dreams, we chased them, I ain't complaining. Cause hey, hey baby, hey, we made it. Little two bedroom in the same old truck. It ain't much, but it's home to us. And on Saturdays, you sip wine, I play guitar. A little money in the bank, little room to breathe. Ain't got all we want, but we got all we need. Us and everybody else never thought we'd make it this far. It was you and me against the world. A stupid boy and a pretty girl.
Yeah, yeah. Let's give it up for Austin. That's a great Thanks, man. tune, man. Tell me about tell me about growing up in Washington, will you? Uh, yeah, man. I grew up forty minutes outside of Seattle, um, and it's right mm. in the foothills of the Cascade Mountains. Yeah, man, beautiful up there. Um, man. So it's you know a lot of green belts and woods and forests and sure. uh, rivers and lakes. It looks a lot like certain parts of Germany, which we got a ton of people here from Germany watching right now. Um, I even saw a yeah. few comments from people from India. So hello, welcome. So glad to wow. have you here watching us. Yeah, right? So um, Austin, you've got, if, if everybody watching at home liked that, there's more that they can see of you pretty soon. Am I right? Yeah, I'm actually going to be doing a live stream on my Instagram later today, 4 o'clock Nashville time. Okay, you got it. And tell them that Instagram so they can follow it and follow it again. It's at Austin Jenks. Austin Jenks, everybody. And that is J E N C K E S. That's right. So if you want to pick it up, that's in a few hours. I know for Central European time, that is at 10 p.m. Um, and for us in the States here, it's 4 p.m. Am I right in Nashville? Yes, sir. Perfect, man. By All right, way, um, right now, the way this thing's set up, I can only see your mouth, man, because I got this keyboard up, and it slid you <laughs> up, so I, I, I just you see you your mouth. Do you want to do it right here now? Do we want to sneak the knife here for you? <laughs> <laughs> so um, I was just thinking uh, in the midst of this today, we had um, – also, if you can get over your keyboard troubles. Uh, we <clears> – <throat> I, so when I moved to Nashville, which was a, a, a little bit longer than six years ago, um, I was living with a bunch of guys in a house like you do and uh, uh, just trying to make ends meet and that sort of thing. And it's funny because I wish that I'd had the wherewithal at that time to realize that that those were the good old days. Do you know what I mean? And I think that there are like there are there are portions of our life that maybe like maybe now is the good old days all the time. Um, like, so we're going to look back at this and be like, remember when we were quarantined? That was weird. Remember when we stayed like 10, 10 feet away from everybody yeah. we knew and even people we didn't know we were walking. Um, so I'm, uh, I'm going to play this song from that record, uh, deep cuts, but this one's called the good old days. And I think these might be them too. That's cool. so, hell yeah. <laughs> He's got an old tweed couch for a front porch. A bill crates holding up a box TV. So the old fancy gets some cold pants. So we can get more friends this hand around. Because he used to be an you know, old halfway house. Until some rich white folks came and bought a house. So I'd still come by and pull their welfare chips while I'm scraping by trying to make the rain. Then it always seems that we're just sitting somewhere in between. Where we're headed, where we've always been Lost inside of hay Just trying to find our way And these are the good old days Beers and hand up on Tossing empties and talking true. We'll laugh and cry till we hash out. God and love in three more Cause man, it always seems like we're just sitting somewhere in between. Where we're headed, where we've always been, lost sight of hate, just trying to find our way. And these are the good old days. Yeah, I've come this far, 
And I know the feeling Maybe if I don't try so hard Maybe they won't fly so fast Cause man it always seems I quit just sitting somewhere in between Where we started Catching all things straight And down the road away I know we're going to say that these are the good old days. Oh, the good old days. Yeah, dude. These are them, folks. <laughs> I mean, Austin, I really appreciate you. I appreciate your time. I uh, hope everybody who's been watching has been having a great time uh, for us today. Um, uh, man, you've got a live stream coming up. Uh, we are going to be back at this again with Sound of Nashville on Thursday of next week, so y'all can come back and tune in for that. Um, but, Austin, I think you're going to leave us with the best thing that we've had today. Have you got a joke for us? I do. My wife told me this thing. Uh, <laughs> so, what did the suspenders say to the pants? I don't know, Austin. Go for it. What's up, britches? <laughs> <laughs> My britches. <laughs> That's beautiful, man. Well, hey, dude, Austin, thank you so much for your time today. Have fun with your live stream tomorrow. hope everybody tunes in and sees that. And, uh, man, we'll see you down the road. Maybe we'll be Skype writing pretty soon. You never know. Dude, I'm in, man. Hit me up. All right, dude. Take care of yourselves. Everybody, thanks so much. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you later. My name is Kenny Foster. We'll catch you next time. Bye. Later.